Our biggest problem in this village is water. Drinking water, water for goats and pigs. It's very difficult to find water here. Okay, hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Samson, the Roadman. And uh, today I'm here in a village in Chongwe, which is called uh, Kanchui village. And um, yeah, you know, like last year we actually had a very, very, very bad uh, rainy season. So the people of this village are actually having troubles to find clean drinking water uh, because, of, uh, because of the drought which we actually had. So I'm just walking around this village just to find out how it is. And uh, with me is um, Isaac. Yes, hello yeah. guys. Yeah. I'm just uh, explaining that um, I'm working in conjunction with the Mamadati's Foundation, uh, who is actually trying to help people around this village. So with me here, I'm um, seated with my grandma, and uh, we're just going to find out how she's doing, how she's been living in this village. My name is Berita Piri. And this is my husband Nicholas Chiro. We were married in 19 we were married in 1963 and now we've actually clocked 61 years together. We have been depending on the Chongwe River for a long time to try and take our grandchildren to school. But also we are getting old and the river is drying up. Because the river is drying up, Mama Tandis Foundation dug one borehole for us here, and that is where we are actually getting water for drinking as at now. Our animals have also suffered a lot, the goats, the pigs, they had nowhere to get water. If it wasn't for Mamatandi to sink one borehole for us, as you saw those pigs there, they would have died by now. The only other place where you can get water is at the Cornerstone Church, and it's far from here, and people like me can't manage to be carrying water on my head all the time. Our biggest challenge in this village is water 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 and this genset which we are using here at mamatandi's foundation it is not okay because it's also consuming a lot of fuel if we can get like a solar powered borehole in this village that can be nice right now people have to travel long distances just to go and buy a fuel and when they bring here it only lasts for a few days if we can have enough water in this village, I can manage to also do a bit of gardening here and there so that I can also feed my family. But also, there is also an issue of goats. That is now our third problem. The goats, sometimes our goats here, they go to other people's gardens and there we just see that the owners just come and then they raise a complaint that no, you have to pay for this because your goats have eaten this and that. We love goats and we love this sort of farming, but we also want people out there, if they can, please to help us get a wire mesh so that we can put around for the goats to be secured so that they don't actually go astray into other people's gardens. I can't manage to pay people always when they come with their complaints. As you have seen already, I'm already suffering myself. But how can I be paying these people every single day? Please, 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 if people are out there that are listening, please help us with a wire so that we can actually put a fence so that our goats can be secured. We used to live on the other side of the river, but now we shifted here. But here again we've been suffering, and if it wasn't for Mamatandi's foundation who are actually helping us, we don't know where we could have been. Even today we've had nothing to eat since morning. We told Mama Tandi how our situation is. Sometimes she sends money for us, but sometimes it's difficult even for her. 
Yesterday we were given some rice which we ate. Today we don't know what we are going to eat. Yes, we used to have a garden along the Chongwe River. But since it's drying up, we've tried to use Mamatendi's uh, boho, but also the water is not enough for gardening. At the river, there's a portion where there's still water, but that's why everyone is coming now to fetch water and also to pump water to their gardens. Sometimes there are fights down there. I don't have many grandchildren, but I have some in Lusaka who are doing peace works there. And also, the one who is holding your camera is also my grandchild. And this one who is passing behind us, but this one who is passing behind us is actually mentally disturbed. <laughs> I have two small ones that actually go to school. The other one is available, but the other one has gone to town in Osaka to her elder sister so that maybe when coming back, they can actually give her something for school. The other one has helped people to go to town to go and sell their vegetables. He was helping those customers that come to buy vegetables along the banks of the river. He's hoping that when they sell in Lusaka, they can actually give him some money too. In total here, we are about six. But there at uh, Mamatandi's house, there's also a family which is trying to help. But the elderly lady there, the problem that she has, the disease that she has, is the same as my husband. Only that her, she's able to see because she's got glasses. But my husband here has got problems with uh, uh, hearing. Even as we are talking right now, he can't hear anything. He used to have some hearing aids, but now it broke down. And we can't have afford to buy another one. It costed about uh, 1,500 kwacha. Mama Tandi Foundation said that if they look for some money, they can actually help us to buy new ones. For now, we don't have any money. So what can we do? My husband has two major problems. He can't hear and he can't see. But one of these eyes is able to see a little bit, but the other one is still very much affected because of sugar. Oh, my husband is signaling to me that he wants to say something. We had our first house built, a mud house which was built somewhere in the corner there. And this guy behind the camera here, he was actually born in that same house. Mama Tandis Foundation in this village helps anyone. It has no discrimination. And Mama Tandi, I want to say thank you. Mama Tandi has done a lot of things in my life. And the house which I'm living in right now, she's the one that built for me. Our appeal to those that are watching this video is that please help us sink the boreholes so that we can actually do our gardenings properly and be able to send our grandchildren to school. 
That would really, really appreciate. Also, we have the problem with our house here. The windows are not yet done. So please, if anyone can contribute towards this, it can be a very, very big achievement for us. <laughs> Please support our village because this year we are having a famine because of last year we didn't have enough rains to plant so everyone in this village is actually suffering My last appeal is that please, if I can have like 5 bags of maize, which are also costing about 330 kwacha, this can really really help because I'll be able to feed our family here until the year ends. If I can have 5, five bags of maize to help feed the family until the end of the year, and the government also provides us with a bit of fertilizer this year, then that would be nice because I'll be able, I'll try by all means to actually do some farming. These are the three things that I'm asking for. Yeah. Okay guys, so I'm still here in uh, Chongwe and uh, to be specific in a village called Kanchui, Kanchui village and uh, I've actually met another uh, mother of ours here. Uh, I'll let her introduce herself and then we're going to talk to her and find out how she's doing. Okay, so you can maybe tell the people your name. My name is Adele. Richmond. Okay, that's Okay, so for how long have you been living here in Kachui? Two months. Yeah, of how many? Um, uh, one month. One month. One right? month and plus some weeks. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. So it's recent. Right? You just yes. moved here. Okay. So why why did you come here? Why did you come to this village? Just a for a better life. Okay. 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 So you basically came here so that you can start new life, basically. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, but what are the some of the challenges that you faced so far? Distance. Hospitals. There are no hospitals nearby. I'm the diabetic. I'm diabetic and hypertensive. Oh, okay. So you are diabetic. Hospitals are very far from this village. Okay. Okay. So, how 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 often do you need to go to the hospital? I think every month I'm supposed to go to get my medication. Ah. Mm. Okay. The distance. Yes. The distance. Okay. Mm. Okay, but how? Okay, like for the medicines, are they are they for free? No, I have to buy. Have to buy, buy medicine mm. at the hospital. At the chemist. At the chemist. Okay, so at the hospital they just check? Yes, they just check. Right. Mm. Oh, okay. So maybe just to, to clarify, I, I understand from Atanji's foundation they're the ones that are actually helping you to no, settle yes, here. Yes. Okay, okay, which is good. But then, what sort of farming are you trying to venture into? Are you trying to become? to do like vegetables. vegetables vegetables okay so yeah that's what i wanted to ask because I've, I've, we've been going around in the village and uh one of the complaints that we've gotten is that uh, the chongi river which is crossed by here is actually drying up yes, so how do you intend to do your farm with gardening actually oh we can we we'll get some water from the silicon valley ah, okay mm. Okay, so that's okay. So basically, because that's that's another issue now, which we've seen. Now, yeah, pumping. is it? Yes. Yeah, pumping. So you pump, need, pump. yeah, you need the pump. Yes. Pipes. Pipes as well. Mm. Uh, okay. 
But so you, you don't have any of those at the moment? No, we don't. Yeah, so you need those. We need those. Yeah, yeah you need pumps and pipes, of course, to pump into the gardens. Yeah. But uh, since now the river may actually dry up, um, so what we've been trying to find out from people also is to which what what is the alternative? Boreholes. Boreholes, yes, that's a, that's a good one. So boreholes. We don't have boreholes in this community right now. We only have like, I think I've seen one, and uh, the other one is for Mama Dandy's foundation, which is which is in the corner of the farm there. Yeah. Okay, so we need boreholes. But for people that are watching like this video right now, what do you, what would you would you like them to to know about food, you, food. and uh, how can they help you? Like you can talk to them. Donations, any kind of donations, we're very grateful. Yeah. Mm. So, but okay, you know, like one thing that I understand is that uh, people don't want to, people want to meet you like halfway. Okay. You know, like you also do something and then they also come in. It's better. Yeah, better that way. But uh, like for water issues, I think the borehole will be the most suitable one. And uh, the borehole, yeah, and the pump as well, yes. So if we, but if we can have like a borehole that is solar powered, yes, you remember like we were talking about a borehole that is solar so powered, um, and also something that can be very deep, like maybe hundred meters. You remember, is it yes. something like hundred meters? Because we've seen like even some boreholes are actually drying up. They're drying up. Yeah. yeah. So climate change. Yeah, it's all because of climate change. Okay. Okay, maybe do you have anything else to say? My challenge is my challenge is medication and food. Medication, okay. So guys, she's basically asking for some sort of help in whatever way that you can actually help uh, via Mama Tandis Foundation here in the village. If it means uh, medication, you, you can basically actually try to help in terms of maybe providing medications, which she highly actually values she needs to take those medicines like every month. She every needs to, day. Every day. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that's every day. But you usually go to the hospital and buy every month. Get, get a prescription from the prescription. hospital and go and buy. Aha. Uh -huh. mm. Okay. Okay. So she needs that. And of course, like here, it's purely, purely Mama Tandis Foundation, which is helping for now. But if you are out there and you are willing to come in to try and help our mother here, I think it's a it's the right thing to do you actually be doing helping zambians actually because if you can help her she also has like a granddaughter yes who is hiv positive um, she was born that way isn't it yeah so what, what are some of the changes which she's going through with medication which i said you have to take it to hospital to get her medication transport is a challenge Okay, so for how how often does she go to the hospital to get the medication? After three months. After three months, okay. And what sort of medication is she on? Is it ARVs? Yeah, the ARVs. Is it like the one she actually takes like every month or every day? Every month, every day. Every day. Okay, so yeah, the granddaughter is actually on medication, and she has to take that medication every single day. So. Every month, she, every every after three months, she has to go to the hospital, and she's given that medicine. But then, the medicine actually, I'm told from my own research, I think you can't take medicine when you are have an empty stomach. stomach yes. Yeah, that's the challenge. Uh -huh. So she needs to eat and all that. But where the food can actually come from is also another challenge. So the grandma intends to start a gardening. Which, which she thinks can later actually uh, be helping them like, to get food, enough food for themselves. Um, but for now, they, they are not doing any type of gardening. So the help that we, we, we actually want her to have is basically to have like a borehole drilled somewhere where she can actually be doing a gardening and later on be able to provide all those things that we are asking for now. Okay, which is I think a good idea to have a borehole. Because all the uh, the other the Chombe River water is drying is up. Water, water is life. Yeah, water is life. Like uh, yeah, so a lot of boreholes are drying up. But if you can get like a solar powered borehole, that can really be uh, very helpful uh, to this community and also to, to our grandma here. Okay, so thank you so much.
I think unless you've got something else to tell the people. Yeah, we'll just there. appreciate a lot. Okay, thank you. Mm. Okay. Yeah, so those that are willing guys, you can actually contact I will leave the details in the in the description of this video so that you can check uh, Mama Tandis Foundation and also yeah, donate whatever that you can so that people like her can also be tremendously helped. Yeah, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. is it? Vanessa. Vanessa. My name oh. is Vanessa. I no longer go to school. I dropped out of school when uh, the people that were paying for me stopped paying. I was at a school called Tafimbwa in Lusaka. I was in grade 9 when I stopped school. But if I find someone to sponsor me, I would like to go back. But when I go back, I will actually start in grade 8. Because I've been out of school for a long period of time now. Mm, Yes, right now I'm 18 years old. My appeal to those that are watching this video, please help me get back to school. I also don't have clothes, food, we don't eat well because we are suffering here. And this house, you were just being helped by the Mamatandi Foundation to live here. Okay. All right. So there are a lot of people that need help in this particular village. So if you are here, you're watching this video, I'm making this call now to you that uh, whatever that you can, make sure that you donate or support the Mama Tandi Foundation so that they can actually put up these amenities here, like especially the water situation is really really bad in uh, Kanchui village here um, like I've seen you can see like there's a water tank over there that is uh, that was put up by Mama Tandi's foundation and uh, she's trying to help around this village but a lot of people now because a lot of boreholes have actually dried up a lot of people actually come here to fetch water so that they can actually go out there and um, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, water their gardens or stuff like that and actually clean water for drinking comes from such boreholes but this one is only a single borehole and in this village this part of the village there are only like two this one for Mama Tandi and there's another one which is at the um, at the cornerstone Holy Ch family church which people use to fetch water for drinking so foundation Mama Tandi's foundation is trying to actually put up like a number of boreholes in this village where people can actually be able to fetch water, water their, their, their gardens um, and also have like nice clean water for drinking. So those two things are critical at this particular time. If you can actually get those up and running, then people can be saved from, uh, from poverty because they'll be able to plant um, their vegetables and uh, later on take them to the to the CBD uh, either in Chongwe or Lusaka and they can actually resell and make a bit of money and support their families. So all these things can be done if we can have those boreholes like planted, dotted around this village. But the first thing that we need is actually the boreholes. So whatever that you can guys, I'll leave a link to Mama Tandis Foundation right in, uh, in the description of this video so that uh, whoever feels like they can donate whatever that they can, surely go there, click on the link and uh, contact this foundation and help okay so that's it for me i've been traveling this village and i've seen people that are suffering my name is samson the roadman once again i'll see you in my next video shout out bye bye